just checking your cervical collar to make sure everything is all right. No signs of distension in the jugular vein. And trachea is in line, so that looks good. Can you tell me your name again? Thank you. And do you know where you are right now? Good. Do you remember where you were headed when you got in the car accident? Okay, so confusion like that can be a sign of concussion. We're going to keep a very close eye on that. My name is Veda. I'm a paramedic, and I'm going to be taking care of you on the way to the hospital. Right now, we're headed to St. Mary's Hospital, and we should arrive in about 15 minutes. We've already contacted your emergency contact, so they should be there waiting for us when we get there. Everything is going to be okay. I'm just going to start by checking your vitals, okay? If you could just raise your right hand for me. Very good. So that shows me that your motor functions are functioning properly. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this pulse oximeter on your finger. This is going to measure your blood oxygen content and make sure that we don't need to administer oxygen to support you. Just put this on your finger. Alright, now I'm going to check your blood pressure. We'll just do that quickly. Blood pressure cuff. I'm going to put this on your left arm just because I'm on this side. Get this on now. Alright. Okay. We have 120 over 80, so you're okay there. And now, I'm just going to palpate your head a little bit to make sure that we don't feel any signs of skull fracture or facial fractures. We do this for anybody that's had a head injury, especially for something like a car accident, okay? So if you feel anything that is extremely painful, let me know, alright? I'm just going to start on the sides of your head here, the temporal region. you're okay there. I don't feel anything. Come all the way around your head. In the back here. Okay. Very good. Your face and the orbital bones all around your eyes. I don't feel any signs of fracture. They're going to double check that at the hospital. They might do x-rays, but right now that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put some gauze on that wound for you because it is bleeding quite a bit. That is nothing to worry about. It actually doesn't look very bad, but any head wounds bleed quite a lot because you have a lot of blood vessels in your head, okay? So I have this gauze. We're going to put this gauze on, and I'm going to wrap your head. Okay. Okay, wrap that all the way around. Right. Very good. Okay. I'm actually going to cut a little bit off the end here. Good. Alright. Perfect. Okay, so that might bleed through. We'll leave that there for now. Again, it doesn't look very serious in terms of that cut, but head wounds do bleed quite a bit, so I'll just keep an eye on that. We might need to rewrap it in just a little bit, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a look in your ears. I'm looking for any signs of um, bleeding or any fluids in the ears. 
that could tell us that there's some brain damage going on. Okay, I'm gonna come in your left ear first. Okay. Left ear looks good. I don't see any signs of bleeding, no fluids. That looks excellent. Okay, that's what I want to see. I'm gonna come around to your right ear now. Okay. Good, right ear's the same. I don't see any signs of bleeding fluids. Very good. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and look up into your nose. I'm not gonna put this in your nostril, but I am gonna look in. Again, I'm looking for bleeding, which could be signs of trauma to the brain, okay? Right. Into your nose. Yeah, your right nostril looks fine. Left nostril looks fine. If you could just open your mouth for me. Thank you. Look around the mouth and just say, ah down your throat. Okay, no obstruction of airway. Very good. Again, no signs of bleeding. Can you just stick your tongue out for me, please? Uh -huh. Okay, just look at both sides of that tongue. Very good. No damage to the tongue. Sometimes people will bite their tongue, especially in a car accident, so we want to check for damage to that as well. Mouth looks good. Ears look good. Nose looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and shine this light in your eyes. Okay. Get in there in your eyes. Excellent. So pupils are round. They are the same size. And they are both reacting to light equally. Good. That's exactly what we want to see. Now, if you could just follow the light for me, please. You're doing a great job. Yeah, you don't have to move your head at all. In fact, I'd rather you not. Very good. That cervical collar pretty much prevents it anyway. Okay. You're doing a great job. All right. Okay, and just to check again, do you know where you are right now? Good. And do you remember where we're headed? That's correct. Excellent. I'm going to say a string of numbers to you. I want you to repeat them back to me, okay? 56, 14, 32, 96, 12. Can you say those back? Okay, no, that's very close. Don't worry at all. That again can be a sign of concussion, so absolutely nothing to worry about there. It just shows me that we need to look into that, especially at the hospital, okay? Now, I've noticed your breathing is a little bit faster right now, a little bit more labored, so I wanted you to try to calm down as much as possible, all right? Can you try to breathe in? Nice deep breath, and breathe out, and breathe in. Nice deep breaths, okay? Deep and calming breaths. You are totally fine. You are in perfectly stable condition. I know this can be very scary, but you are all right. Okay, we're getting a little closer to the city, so the driver is going to turn on the sirens for a moment, okay? There you go. Alright, see, it's not too loud, nothing to worry about. I'm gonna check your pulse again, alright? Just get in here and check your pulse. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We're at about 115 beats per minute, so it's gone down since last time, still a little bit high. I want you to keep focusing on that nice, deep breathing. Remember, you are okay, you're in good hands, and you're going to be at the hospital very soon. You are doing an amazing job. We have about five to seven minutes before we arrive at the hospital, so you have nothing to worry about. We'll be there very soon, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and check that pulse oximeter. Okay, we're down to 95% uh, percent blood oxygenation, so I'm going to go ahead and get an oxygen mask for you. I think that's just because we're breathing a little bit more rapidly, not getting that full breath in, so 
Mostly it's probably because of that anxiety you're experiencing, but the oxygen should help, right? Okay, so I have this oxygen mask for you. It's nice and clean. Oxygen flows through this tube, and you'll be able to breathe it in through the mask. It covers your nose and mouth so you can breathe just like normal. Nice, deep, calming breaths if you can, okay? I'm just gonna get this over your head. Alright. There we go. And tighten that up a bit. Excellent. Okay. So that should help with that blood oxygen level. We'll check that again in a minute. Make sure everything's okay. Can you do a nice deep breath in for me? And breathe out. And a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. You are doing a fantastic job, okay? Just try to stay nice and calm. Keep that heart rate low. I'm going to check your pulse again, okay? Okay, okay, we're down to 110, so keep that nice, steady, deep breathing, okay? You're in very stable condition, so you're going to be just fine when you get to the hospital. I'm going to change that dressing on your head, because it actually looks like it's starting to come through a little bit. Here, a box of gauze. Okay, so I'm going to remove the wrap. sure we're putting fresh gauze on so we can maintain that uh, pressure on there. That way you're not bleeding through too, okay? Put that gauze on. Get the wrap back. Okay. Very good. All right. You're doing a very good job. Again, nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Okay. I'm going to check your ears again, okay? Come back in here and check your ears. Left ear. Very good. Everything still looks nice and clear. Nothing to worry about there. Coming over to your right ear. Same thing here. Everything still looks clear. You're looking really good. Okay, do you remember where you are? Good. I know, it's a silly question to keep asking, but it helps monitor your mental state. And do you know where we're headed? That's correct. Now, I'm going to give you another string of numbers. I want you to try to repeat them back to me, okay? 19, 15, 52, 26, 3. You repeat those back? Okay, that's pretty good. It was just those last couple that we had some trouble with. That's okay. That can just, again, be a sign of concussion. So they're going to take a look at you when you get to the hospital, get everything all straightened out. You might need stitches for that cut, but it doesn't look too bad, so they might just be able to close it with some bandages. We'll see when we get there. Otherwise, you're doing really well, so just keep up that nice, slow, deep breathing, okay? Breathe in, and breathe out. Very good. All right. The driver's going to start the siren again, okay? Just to warn you, again, it won't be very loud. Okay, there we go. Come up here and check that dressing one more time. That looks good. Okay. Everything around the head looks good. Alright. 
excellent. Go ahead and look in your eyes again. Make sure they're still reacting correctly. Yeah. Yeah, we're still seeing the same thing. Good symmetry of the pupils. They're the same size, both round as they should be. Reacting to light. You follow the light again for me. Good. Good. You're doing great. Okay. How many fingers am I holding up? That's right. Follow the light again. Good. Very good. ETA is about one minute. How many fingers am I holding up? Very good. And do they get blurry when I move them in and out? Okay, just a little bit. Okay, that can be a sign of concussion just like the other stuff, so we'll have that checked out absolutely when you get to the hospital. We are almost there, so just continue those nice, deep, calm breaths, okay? You're doing a fantastic job. Blood oxygenation's backed up to 97%, so that oxygen is helping. Do a nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Okay. Nice deep breath in. And breathe out. Okay. And we have arrived at the hospital, so you did an amazing job. Very, very brave. We're going to get you right in there to the ER. You're going to see a doctor right away. Okay, so let's get you in there. 